what? Okay, try refreshing now. Okay, cool. I'm like, motherfucker. Uh, uh, yeah, Swagger, you said you can't hear Nibs. Can you hear him now? I'm waiting to see if he says something. I if he's just trolling us. Kage is a boomer. Let's take it or leave it. Ah, for fuck's sakes. I can't hear you now. Why can't they hear you? Okay, how about now? Anything? Still can't hear you. Why? Let's see. Okay, now try. definitely on, but I don't hear you either, so they're not kidding. Yes, I can hear you on through Discord, it's just I gotta get you through here. I wonder what the fuck happened. Let me fix this too. It's all kinds of fuck three away from Sunday. Try just re adding this. Okay, re added that. I still can't hear him. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Let me try. Oh. Discord. Free lips, Jesus Christ. Okay. How about now? Can you hear him now? Still. Uh, let's see what this is going on. Let me redo this as well. Maybe this is it. <laughs> no, it's definitely on my end trying to transcribe it through. That's what's going on. Definitely not the mic. Oh, for fuck's sakes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. 
<laughs> as soon as you grab that, oh fuck. <laughs> I didn't even hear that. I didn't even hear that. It's probably a good thing. Oh, it's not as loud as I thought it would be. God, nobody heard that. Fuck, what else is going on? Checking on the scene real quick. It's like I killed something somewhere. I don't know why or how, but I did. You know, I could just type. Uh, that sounds awful. Yeah, it does. Huh? 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 What? I fixed it. I fixed it. People can hear me. Okay. What? Did, what the fuck did? Uh, what did you do? So I don't know, but I fixed it. I you just, don't know? I just kept fucking with settings until it went. That, that's okay, well, now i got to play my bugle again. Okay. Jesus Christ. You hear that? All I know is I kept fucking with settings until I could stream again, and whatever I fucked with fucked other stuff, and then it fucked us for seven minutes. The end. Uh, Fifteen. Oh, so who's counting? <laughs> uh, so next week just start at 6.30 and fuck around with your settings randomly in advance and then we should I would have but I went for ice cream <laughs> hey did everybody hear the cavalry charge jingle I just don't know if this mic picks it up very well also noise I thought I was going to lose my fucking eardrums when he grabbed that I'm like ah shit here we go Okay, so uh, well, I, yeah, I can't I can't play I can't play Star Wars on a bugle because it only has like four notes. So. And what Star Wars S five? Uh, well, I could hold on a second. So I might be able to pull off the Imperial March, but it's not going to sound right because I don't have all the notes. <laughs> yeah, you don't have all the notes in between, so you, <laughs> you can't do it right. You have to have a trumpet with keys. Not keys, vowels. I've been playing trumpet for 20 years and I call them keys. Yeah, there's keys oh, on a trumpet. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, somebody said it was a... This Somebody said this is a French horn. This is not a French horn. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so where to oh. begin for today? Okay. Well, episode five of Feeding the Trolls podcast, 17 minutes late. Thanks for those who stuck around for that dumpster fire. Uh, we got a lot to go through. Um, I can't stay too much later after eight. So um, we want to start with waifus. So uh, why don't we, do you want to just maybe give your impression of like, like your analysis of them and who should pull on them and what use they have? And I can do my take. Uh, essentially, it's there's no wrong answer to them for for like new players. Like now that my wife's playing the game, it's a little bit different. I'm like thinking for her. I mean, any of them would work in terms of like a new player. It's a guaranteed ass, especially if you're not going to spend any money on the game. It's like a free unit, so it's kind of like well, what would do do her more justice. So far, she's pulled a bunch of melee units. She's got a Hell Gladiator and a Nightclubber already. Jesus Christ. And, you know, like, Nearer would probably complement her better because Nira has some range. Nearer's, Nearer's a pretty good unit. And, you know, she'd also use her as a healer, too, for those melee. So, you know, it's all still going to be situational. I wouldn't, you know, be like, well, you just have to get this one unit regardless of what you have. But, I mean, it all depends. I mean, Bianca's got some good abilities. Deborah's got some good abilities. It's, it's a win-win regardless. It's just, 
I would pull the tickets first before you pick one of those three, just in case you do get one and then you want to, you know, power that up for whatever reason. That's my take anyway. Yeah, yeah. So I was thinking right away for your wife or any new player or any low budget player, Nira's fantastic, you know, because she right out of the box, um, you know, and, you know, this is actually not a hard event to get like one awakening because you can do the tickets, you can use. Um, hero crystals if you've been playing for a while or hero uh, awakening gems if you've been playing for a while saving those up um you know and we've we've been given four already and are going to end up with probably five maybe um free tickets for all three of them uh, by the time the event starts tomorrow night so um yeah i mean this is actually it's actually a great opportunity for low budget accounts to get uh, get a really good unit so i think nira for for you know Miss, Miss Kage, and, um, you know, she's got the heal. It's actually going to be the strongest single target heal we have yet. Um, she's got a powerful wish spell and a powerful bang spell. Uh, so, you know, we already have White King for wish. We already have um, Baramos. We already have Juliante and Sorrow for bang. You know, so chances are a mature account is not going to really need Nera as much as the other two um, because we don't have like zap and sizz uh we i mean we're very much lacking in that right now you right because i mean you got what royal reptile for royal zap, reptile. and then for sizz you've got halberd source for the most like and then you know there's a units nobody really uses or wants to bring to arena yeah yeah so i actually think we have a slightly more sizz than we have zap but certainly is not saying much because halberd source um provides that giant ass aoe um so if we're talking about elements that probably everyone needs uh i'm i'm looking at bianca for plugging the biggest gap in people's element needs right now including myself um you know royal reptile can only do his you know, his very strong attack very strong unit but it's only at one range bianca could do it at two range and it's a three um aoe so um so i think as far as element coverage uh, i'm putting bianca at number one um also in terms of overall utility for a mature account i'm putting bianca at number one too uh, simply because she's got the counterattack, uh, the passive counterattack, which is not the biggest deal in the world, but it's something. It's the first time we really have that. Uh, we're not going to have that again until, I think, uh, Purin from DQ2. Um, it's going to be a minute. And then Celery yeah. asks, will Nier's heal work for Rochi 8-10? to 10? And essentially, if you can get that single target heal to do like 6, 6 to 700, it'll work. Yeah, and it's all about the number itself. You can get her I to think do it's that, it will. I think her heal is going to probably end up doing more than Emperor Slime's multi-heal, just on, on a multiplier basis. Um, and she also is going to probably have more MP to deal with. That said, Orochi does a lot of... Either him or the adds, especially if you're talking about level 10, uh, he does a lot of damage to your other units besides just your tank. So you're probably still going to need Emperor Slime for that. Right, because even when I do the positioning for the fight, after I get Baramos over, he's down to like 4 health. You know, everybody, Hellglad's got, I mean, Hellglad could technically recover his stuff. So, I mean, if you position him correctly, you would only have to heal whichever was your kind of like your cleanup unit. So right. I guess you could alternate between, but I don't know how Nera's MP management would handle that fight as opposed to Emperor. That's the thing. Yeah, true. Actually, now that, we, now that you said that, now that we think about it a little bit, you probably only need single target heals for that, uh, just for your tank, because who's taking more than one hit besides the tank? I think using the poison stride anyway. Um, so Hellglad takes the first hit, and then that almost kills him, but doesn't quite. And then your your adds like Baramos or Zoma, whoever is cleaning up your adds, will take one hit. Um, but they're not even with a perfect strategy, they're not taking two hits, right? So right. you can probably just leave them at almost dead the whole time. If Orochi attacks any one of those guys, they're dead anyway from full health. So it doesn't even matter. Um, yeah, so I, I actually Nero would be probably pretty good. I don't know about level 10, but she can definitely get you up there. Um, we, we really have no way of knowing right at this moment. But I do think that the multiplayer on more heal is higher than multi-heal from Emperor Slime. So um, regardless, you know, if, if you don't have, if you're not a whale and if you're not a super mature account player, Nier is going to be just fantastic. So, um, and Foxy, of course, says, mine don't take any hits. Well, none of us, we're all peasants compared to you in terms of a Rochi clearing. So, 
So I still beat you to Awaken right. Three, Foxy. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So moving on. So like I said, overall utility, um, especially for PVE, because that get, get that counterattack. So you know, if you're doing like a PVE X fight or a giant fight or a tower, whatever you're doing, like long fights. Bianca is going to be like bar none the best because she's going to provide that passive counterattack. Plus, if she's not in range, she can buff somebody else or buff herself with double um, attack up, you know. So we got party boost and cheer, which only do one. Uh, buy kill or whatever they're going to call it in, in, in uh, global is, is two. That's 30% of an attack bonus. So and it's actually only like 24 MP or something like that. So it's not like some massive investment of MP. So Bianca really good unit you can't really go wrong with Bianca um, and that's probably 24 MP at level 0 too so that'll go down as yeah. you level it up yeah it'll go down because I don't think anything else about that ability can get buffed so it'll just be MP go down to 14 so yeah it's really negligible MP um, the only thing with her is her MP for her AOE is pretty eh, it's really not that bad I think it's like 60 something so um, but I think she's the best for PvE X by far is Bianca um so, looking at Deborah, um, I think she's probably the best for Arena, um, simply because more units that are popular to use are weak to Sizz than weak to Zap, right now in Global anyway. Um, and also, Deborah, I think, is a little tankier than Bianca, uh, so she's going to be better at the baiting and better at the, uh, you know, turn one, just going balls out. She's also resistant to Frizz, uh, which is a pretty big deal. I mean, everyone's crazy about Sizz now because of Halberd, but a lot of units have Frizz. You know, true form is everywhere. He's going to be wrecking you with Frizz. You know, a regular Dragon Lord, of course. Um, eventually, when KM2 arrives, yeah, he's going to shove Frizz up your ass. You know, so yeah. you're, you're going to want to have you know, Frizz-resistant units. Um, that's Killing Machine 1. I think it's also... Who else is Frizz-resistant? Um, anyway... Debra is. That's what we're talking about right now. So, no, yeah, Zoma, of course. Uh, I, you know what? Z Zoma might actually still get. No, he won't get one by. She won't by Cam too, but. Um, no, because he's got the dark rope passive. Yeah. Same. It's really hard to remember shit about the game when you're doing a podcast. Like when I'm just watching, I'm I'm like yelling at the screen like it's Zoma, you know. But when you're actually thinking about putting on a show, it's way harder just to recall everything. Anyway, so what I'm gonna do? I'm leaving it up to Lady Luck. I'm going to just, of course, use all your tickets. Everyone should just do that. Use all your tickets. Use all your attack points. Um, you know, if there's event medals, grind those out. Buy the tickets quickly. Spend those right away. Um, you know, and then after that, I think you should then, if you have gems to pull, if you're going to do that, then you do that part. Uh, and then when all is said and done, you use your ring. I think that's, they're going to let you do that. They're going to let you just wait on um, who you use it on. I don't know. I got to be careful about that because maybe they don't give you a choice. Do you know how that works? Like they just like give you as an item, or how does that work with the marriage? I was under the impression that it was an item, and then you had to use it by the end of the event. And I can't see them changing that at all, or okay. forcing you into a a choice early on. And even if they were going to try and do that, we could always there's, there's always somebody who's going to be a guinea pig for us. But I can't see them locking us out of content or anything from. From having to make that choice with the ring. Uh, Trop says all three are frizz resistant. So is that true? Uh, I believe. I him. believe so. I think most of them are weak to Zam, if I remember correctly, when I was doing the video. You know, that's interesting. Is that just a hero thing? Because Elena is weak to Zam as well. So is um, what's his face? Ragnar. Um, I think Kir Kirill is too, if I remember correctly. Yeah. Maybe all heroes are weak to Zam. That's kind of cool. That's a thematic thing that they're doing. So the S Stark is the hero killer, basically. Yeah, insane saying you could marry the last day of the event. So it, it's like I figured. They give you an item, and you can wait to use it. So you don't have to use it right away. You can, you know, keep it, see where you end up with things. Because some collectors may just wait to the last day. And, you know, <laughs> the difference between picking picking the one they need and having to spend another $240 to try and get the last one. Yeah, you know, I, I actually think, and, and don't jump all over my shit, uh, Peanut Gallery, if I'm wrong about this. Because it's a long event, we don't know what's happening, it hasn't arrived yet, okay? But I actually think this is going to be one of the more free-to-play free friendly 
uh, events in terms of pulling your S units. Uh, because again, we have more free tickets, we have the ring, we have a lot of hero gems saved up. So everyone should at least get like one, maybe two waifus, or at least one waifu awakened one. Like if that's if you're not spending any gems. I think that's probably a safe bet. Um, let's see. In terms of being weak to Zam, and let's see. So we're looking at Purin right now. She is weak to Frizz, actually, and weak to Zam. Um, Nira is strong against Frizz and weak to Zam. Bianca is strong against Frizz and weak to Zam. Okay. But um, Deborah is not weak to Zam. She is weak to Bang and Whoosh. So she's like the evil chick, I guess. So. so it is a theme. They are really all weak to Zam because that's darkness and they're like light characters. Eh, maybe. Deborah, I mean, Deborah's not. She's uh, she's strong against uh, Zap and Frizz. Oh, so, so far yeah. she's the only hero who isn't weak to Zam then out of all yeah. the ones we've mentioned. Yeah. I guess she's, you know, she's the dark hero or something. I don't know. Whatever. I get that. That's kind of cool that most of them are weak to Zam. That's kind of a thematic thing. So, good versus evil type thing. Um, yeah. So, I'm going to leave it with Lady Luck. I am going to probably um, spend gems. Maybe I'll start at like what one stamp gets me. And then if I just get. I, I don't want Nira. That's what I, I'm going with. I, I want either Bianca or, or um, Deborah. So, um, and whichever one I get, uh, I hope I get at least one copy of the other. Because if you get like a w awakened uh, Deborah, I really want to also have at least one copy of Bianca for the PVE benefits. Uh, conversely, right. I have one copy of, you know, if I have like an awakened Bianca, I'm going to want to have one copy of either Nira or Deborah for their PVE benefits, right? To cover elements and stuff. So, well, anything else about uh, waifus or shall we move on? Let's we uh, beat that into the ground in you know a timely manner as opposed to a thirty minute video. Yeah, I'm trying to talk faster, guys. Uh, you know, I think I'm getting a little better at this. I know I'm a little long winded sometimes, but I'm trying to, you know, just go, 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 right? So, um, I know I still have a lot of ums and uhs and shit. So just bear with me. Ah, you're fine. This is actually this is a great exercise in like life skills. You know, learning how to speak better when you're on the spot. Uh, Okay, so what do we want to talk about next? Waifu... Monster battle. Monster battle, right. So we found out that the area effect is a... It's three across and then one in the middle. So it's an upside down T, uh, which means you're going to want to put, you know, probably Sorrow in the front. Um, and then... I mean, we won't talk strategy too much in this, but, you know, that's kind of cool that if you have an AoE, it's going to affect all those spots and then pile on all the damage. So... You know, obviously, Sar is going to be awesome. We just put him right there in the front middle. He'll hit all those three spots. Um, Baramos is going to be really fucking awesome for the fight. Um, you know, <laughs> from back from back, he can do the the big one with the AOE and hit all four tiles, right? I believe so. I haven't watched any videos with him in real action messing around with it. The one yeah, I no watched one in Japan was, has him. <laughs> I yeah, no, I have yeah, nobody really has him. I watched one with the was like Juliante. So they even had a Ragnar in there, which I thought was interesting. Yeah, I, for defense down. Yeah, for defense down. And what was it? They had, like, Emperor was there healing. And, you know, things started going to shit as he got down in, in HP. Because, you know, I didn't realize there were ads to that fight towards the end. Like, they just started swarming in. And the strategy seemed to be just ignore the ads and keep beating on them. Because you're not going to finish the fight if you kill any of those ads anyway. It's a time fight. You got, I think, ten turns to do as much damage as possible. And... It's going to be interesting to see because there's supposed to be weak points, but I couldn't discern anything about the weak points because of the JP version. I mean, I, if they were there, I didn't see him. I didn't pick it up at all, or he was just kind of blitzing through the fight. So, right. It's going to be interesting. But he was doing a lot of damage with Sorrow. He's doing a decent amount of damage with Juliante. He was just laying into him. Right. I think if you don't have Juliante level, you can also do Archdemon. I mean, like, pretty much every day one player probably has Archdemon. Oh, yeah. Uh, he's, got, he's got Kaboom, which is an A rank. Uh, it's the same uh, plus sign shaped. Uh, uh, it's just two range instead of three range, so he's probably going to need cover. 
uh, from whoever tank you bring. It's probably going to be Armored Scorpion, because I think I think Bjorn uses first. I don't know. I'm going into this a little uh, blind, to be honest with you. Yeah, he was using Armored Scorpion way. for a tank, too. He was. Yeah, yeah, okay. Covered. The only thing is, like, the placement of Armored Scorpion is do you put him right next to Bjorn, or do you put him one square back so you can have more people covered? Because uh, you want to have more people up next to Bjorn. He put him know, one so. back. I think, if I remember correctly, put him. Yeah, it might back. work for you because you're using Baramos. Yeah, doesn't matter. And then I may Baramos can sit behind too. the tank, and then you can have Juliante or Archdemon sitting in the side of the tank, and then you can have Sorrow in front of the tank. That's going to be beautiful. Oh no, you're going to have you need you need uh, Emperor Slime in there somewhere. So, so you could probably go Sorrow in front, tank in the middle, Emperor Slime in the side. Uh. Archdemon on the other side and a Baramos in the back and just waste him. Yeah. Of course, this is all conjecture. I don't know. Right, well, we don't know what the hell we're doing yet. This is all like, <laughs> you know, we could totally come up with something different at, at the time of doing this. But yeah, we'll know yeah, yeah probably, we probably will. Probably will. This is, yeah, just armchair conjecture. Uh, I like it that way, keeping a little bit of a mystery. So, um, so what I heard from Japan players is this is one of the easier uh, big bottles that the Atlas one that comes later is quite a bit harder. So we're a little bit fortunate there. Um, hopefully there's not too much grousing and, and uh, whinging when it comes to the giant boss battles. I think it's permanent content, so you'll be fine. All right, it's permanent. I have no idea. Um, maybe, <laughs> maybe it is. I, we I, need somebody who like nerds out and re does research on the show. No, I, just, I don't I mean, speaking of mysteries, I mean, we could also talk about the towers because I have no, no real idea on the towers at all. Like, I didn't even know that was a thing. Like, I was like, oh, this is coming too? Cool. Like, well, I'm just going to dive in. It's kind of like Pizarro's Peak. I only knew that you had 25 units and you yeah. just go in. You know, it's like, okay, well, figure it out. Although, I, I thought it was 25 units per difficulty. And so that was... You know, day one we were streaming the thing, and I was sitting there using like C and D units, clearing normal, and people were like, "What the fuck are you doing? I, I need to space these out, right?" It's like, "No, you idiot! <laughs> you can use the other units." Yeah. <laughs> I handicap myself hard sometimes. In multiple ways, in real life. Yeah, yeah, every, yeah, every game. And... Yeah. Just ask my wife. Right. Um. Well, I mean, this is not a podcast. I mean, because everyone is going to do that already. Everyone's going to have um, the thing where they they splash the the wiki site up on their the center of the screen and talk about. They just read it. What's happening? And uh, they're going to talk about what the guides say. I guess we, you and I, are not going to do that. No, unless we really want to. You know, no, no. Um, to be honest, you. And there's, it's, it's like anything else in life. You know, you're reading off of a different language. There's always going to be some sort of mistranslation or something that doesn't get, uh, I don't know, understood correctly from the whole thing. And then right. you could literally tell a bunch of people that you read and, and they can go off and, and it's something completely different. And they're like, well, why the fuck did you guys even read this to me? Like, this didn't help me at all. So as yeah, opposed to yeah. just so we're giving you some practical ideas or some, some kind of like groundwork. Because again... This could be a little bit different, but hey, here's some ideas. We'll see what happens, and then we'll have guides out and other things when the content's really there and sink our teeth into it because we can do the content as opposed to some people. I think, haven't we learned it? Oh, by the way, Insane Evil, we need those 30-minute video reading the Japan Wiki. Uh, Thank you. Not, not from us. <laughs> Fuck Shit, that. no, I'm not doing that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, how many times have we proven the prophecies wrong? Like, at this point, I just want to tell people, like, well, side note, what is our goal in the show? I want, I think we want to be entertaining, and we want to help people just have fun and enjoy the game, right? Right, because so that's the best way to keep the game alive, is if people have fun with the game and they enjoy it, not, well, kneecapping themselves every which way, they're going to play more, and they're going to want to keep coming back to the game, as opposed yeah, to... Yeah, I mean, how, yeah. how fun is it to just listen to, you know, again... Big fan of Delzor, but how fun is it to just listen to Delzor tell you exactly what to do, and then you prepare for that, and then you dutifully do it when the concept gets released? Like, then it's not even your game. You're just kind of going through the motions of whatever everybody else tells you to do. You need to forge your own destiny. And I'm actually, I'm really, I'm liking some of the things that's happening in your Discord. Uh, there's a lot of people that are saying, like, screw the meta, screw the, the guides. I'm going to figure it out. Even if, and, and you're like, Okay, you might fail. Fucking great. I don't care. You know, I think it's more fun to just do my own thing and figure it out. You know, so. Well, it's like Orochi. Uh, you know, 
well, we could wait for when the Japanese people got the stamp refund and everything. Well, meanwhile, yeah, you could wait for that. And as the game's shifting now, we're probably not going to see a content break anytime soon. So you want to tell me you're going to squeeze in five weeks of trying to get Orochi to max once the refund comes in, as opposed yeah. to on the back end, we're now both of myself and, and, and you, we've got, you know, if I do five more for the week, I might, which I might, I only need 15 more or, you know, 20 more total as opposed to 50. It's like, Oh, you already did your 10 this week. I did five just because I only needed five to awaken them. I, I just knocked out five this morning. You know what I did? I have seven, all three medals. I'm just using 10 skip tickets. Fuck this shit. I, I don't want it. <laughs> I don't want to do it. It's only 2,500 uh, scrolls per week then. But, you know, and the downside of that is Orochi is actually a really good A unit, I think. Uh, he's got a lot of stats. He's got a rolling attack that's really, it's just as strong as Killing Machines, for example. He's got three movement and he's got a lot more HP than Killing Machine. He's got other stuff, you know, so he's a great unit. Um, I, reg you know, I'm going to regret not getting him maxed earlier. But it's just a matter of time, and I'm saving myself a lot of real life aggravation. I'm just, I'm not gonna go through the poison RNG again. Um, I got him to max awaken to, or to awaken two, um, and so I just need to do like, what is it, 25? So I need to do four times more weeks than you do to get him to max awaken. And like I said, yeah, I was lucky enough to get the sword to drop. Um, otherwise, I probably would have still be doing the tents because uh, I really wanted that that weapon. So. Um, Meanwhile, I haven't had any incidents. I'm, I'm like my own worst enemy. I usually trip myself up. It's not the game's RNG. It's something I'll do that stupid. Like, one right. time I didn't use Baramos's attack. I used the, like, the Necrobloom on the, the you know, the dragon. It's like, well, fuck myself here. <laughs> you know, but... Dude, I, I don't know clear. what the fuck's wrong with my RNG. Uh, like, so I bring... Some people get by with just KBS. And some people get by with just Hellglad. Well, I've got a strategy. I've got KBS and Hellglad in the same party. So on turn eight, they move up, you know, from the side, they move to the middle slot, and Orochi moves down, and then both Hellglad and KBS from then, from then on every turn have a chance to poison. And like three times in a row, nothing. Fucking jack shit. <laughs> so I was like... So, uh, out of my last 15 runs, I don't think KBS has ever landed in Venom. It's always been Hellglad. For whatever reason, I haven't seen really? KBS land it. It's only plus 9, I guess. At this point, it's like, well, I need to get this shit to plus 10, or I just keep doing what I'm doing because I'm almost done. I mean, I need 20 runs to go, so I don't know at this point, but it's... God, I hate this content. I hate I hate Orochi's trial at this point because it got the sword. It's like you have the sword, you want the unit maxed. Yeah. It's like, yeah. well, okay. How many more times do we have to show we can accomplish this same goddamn task? <laughs> so. And there's no point trying to, you know, three star it or do any of that nonsense or come back to it later because this, there's the only complaint I have about that event and that shop is there's nothing else to bring you back around. Like there's no other items in there. And I don't know if they add things later on, but it's like, why would you beat yourself up for an additional five weeks to get one copy of that sword to do one roll? That's, that's poor game design. See, now that's something you can be like, well, you know, what the hell you can get Orochi max awakened almost for the mount for the sword. You know, it's right. That doesn't make any sense. So we're talking about a, we, uh, a feature we don't like. Uh, new players uh, still play the game. Download the game. Uh, this yeah. is not a call to action no. to be a bitch about the game. No, it's, it's just one of those things where, well, maybe they could have did it a little bit differently. And, yeah. you know, when you get to our point in the game and you start clearing 10 week after week, then you're going to be like, well, yeah, what's the point of coming back to this once I get this unit maxed out? And there isn't. It's just one of those things where... When you finish it up, it's done for you, and maybe they'll add on to it later, and we'll revisit it. But and hey, it's permanent. And if you don't ever get the sword, no big deal, really. Yeah, I mean, so even so don't if, if you don't even get a Rochi, it's no big deal. So as of yeah, we don't know if he could be useful later. As of but it's one of those things where if you can get at least one copy of him, pocket away from the Dragon Mastery doesn't hurt. Like right? we don't know yeah, yet. Quite. Alrighty, so uh, just really quick on the tower. I think it's actually you go down um, on this one. I think it's a basement, like a like a deep dive into a dungeon. I think just um, some units that you can level, and I, I do think that's also permanent. Um, 
I'm probably wrong on that. Again, I haven't I haven't looked at the, the event news. So. I didn't even know this was a thing. I mean, I saw this tower, I'm like, <laughs> oh, okay, well, I mean. I just know that the one unit that's really important to get from that is the red. Uh, oh, Trap says it's event only. All right. I guess. I guess it's event only. Just, okay, we got burned through this, boys. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, so there's one unit that's the, the red Mandrake Mercenary, whatever he's called in uh, Global. Um, and he is, I just see him used in a lot of JP guides because he's got like a party boost and he's a good attacker and he's anyway, but I don't really see it much else in there besides if you're just chasing CP clout. So, um, well, Hey, let's, let's get to roasting, uh, traps waiting for, uh, get stuff up. yeah, or it's quartered out quarter till eight here. I can stay a little bit past, um, let's start with the home screen. We got. Rank 24, good. Uh, we got 67,000 gems. We know he's a low-budget player. Uh, so, I mean, so Tropical wants to be roasted. I'm thinking, like, what the fuck are we going to say? You know, like, this is a guy who kicks ass at Arena despite being really low-budget. Um, that's kind of his thing. I, I think he's not very far along in PvE X content or CP or anything like that. But, um, you know, I guess we'll see. We'll see. So 67,000 gems. Good savings, you know, for um, whatever he's got going on. Again, like with Lucas, I told him to spend it a little bit because he's got so much to do. Like, he's got so much benefit from that he could get. Uh, Tropical seems to have already accomplished what he wants to do. You know, so I see his 67,000 gems, and I'm like, yeah, cool. Save for, you know, do the 30k for your uh, half enemy, and then spend 30k on Killing Machine 2, I think he wants to do. So, perfect plan. Uh, good amount of gold saved up. That's good. Um, nothing really else there um 50k should get him through the event i i don't see yeah. that being a problem he's got 60k yeah. here so he's will have 30k for half anniversary 30k for stark if he wants i mean depending on how he's going to break that up yeah either s stark or cam2 uh, that's 30k you'll probably get one of them so if not more uh, and then you can just use Awakening Gems on that. Uh, look at the S. The S is in his roster. <clears throat> he's, of course, you know, he's an arena guy, so he's got a Halberd kicking ass. Um, Zoma, RR, DLTF. Uh, Killing Machine is Max Awakened, actually. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know how that happened. Poor thing. Mostly. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a good unit. Uh, it's surprising to see that uh, low-budget player. Maybe he spends a little bit more than we think, but we, you know, we do see a Max Awakened S on here. Um and really nothing much else to speak of in his account. But, you know, just those five units is, yeah, you can kick major ass. As long as, long as you have all your skills up to level 10, you can just uh, destroy the arena as it is now. Okay, so, now here's the thing. Why he is... has no Emperor's Climb. Yeah, I don't see Emperor at all. I, and I he has see... no Kirill, and he's probably going to need to pull Nira. I don't see, I don't see WK either. That's sad. Yeah. With his so he is a low-budget player. He's like a... Yeah. Small dolphin, I would say. Uh, and then I noticed some of his other S units aren't even four. He's got King She Slimes three. These other ones are two. Like yeah, he doesn't care about CP. No, or, he or like oh, he just wants to do arena. So that's cool. Uh, that'll save him a lot of headache. You know, he doesn't have to worry about orbs and shit. Um, I, I do think tropical. Um, <laughs> yeah, you obviously are a really good player. You can make your own decision. But if I were you, I would pull on Nira and make sure that I have got a good healer. You know, because who knows when Seraphie's arriving. You don't have Emperor Slime. You don't have Carol. Um, you're probably going to want to have Nira just so that you can at least get to some of the PvE X content that's coming up so that you can feed your arena teams. You know what I mean? Because some of that stuff is kind of feeds each other. Plus, she's wish so, damage, and he doesn't really have... He doesn't, yeah, yeah, that's a good, good no. point. Doesn't even have... Uh, he doesn't have Dragon Ray, doesn't have WK. Nira is the best choice for you. Um, mm -hmm. You know, but he would also benefit from the other two greatly, so it's oh, really yeah. whatever he wants to do. Um just leave it up to chance like I am, I guess. Uh, looking at his... No, I don't I don't have A ranks I've got him from here. him. Um, Let's see here. Of course, there's a thousand-year delay on Twitch. So he's got Ragnar, Umbra. I know he uses Umbra a lot for PvP. Hellion. Probably will get that maxed eventually. Um, yeah, what he has chosen to invest in at A rank-wise is pretty much perfect. You're not getting roasted, buddy. Sorry. Like, uh, you're. <laughs> I don't know what you want. Uh, why haven't you A6 your arm full, you piece of shit? <laughs> He's a good arena unit. I'll... I've seen a lot of people oh, use him. Oh, I guess. 
<laughs> I'm, I'm just looking for stuff at this point. <laughs> Fuck it. Yeah, I know. That's super picky. You need to A6 your armor pin, though. Yeah. I hate that word. It sounds like penis. I want to say just scorpion. Ar armor pin. Arm like he's peeing. peeing. Jesus Christ. I know. I'm I mean, I'd player. also A5 your ghost. I mean, that ghost is good utility. I don't know why you haven't done that yet. A6 it. Yeah, well, he's got A5 at first, but yeah, A6 and 2. Let's see what yeah. else. Let's go to the next slide. Uh, you could probably stand to A6, your KBS. You got him max awake, and that's really cool. You get, you know, probably your pickled slime. Um, there's a good there's a good amount of A6s that you can be doing in your... But it's not, like, urgent, you know? You can nah, it's get not it. immediate. Oh, I hate him. He has Tormented Soul. I don't have that unit. Damn. Yeah, dude, I mean, just, if you awful, if all you do, if you get, like, shit terrible luck and all you do is get one copy of Nira and nothing else, then you win. That's really all you need from this event, so. Now, if you were going to be a big-ass spender, you would probably want Nira, and then you would probably want to at least get one Wakened on the other two girls, but um, it's up to you. It's up to you. I don't think this is worth spending your stash, though, and I think you would probably agree with that. B units. Uh, okay, you're fine. They're good. He's got Stone Golem and Hades Condor and um, you know, Wordle is not maxed. You should get your Wordle maxed. Other than that, who gives a shit, really? Yeah, I mean, he's got uh, Stiletto to nothing and Tuscatier to nothing, but I don't... I uh, mean, there's nobody really him. uses those. Who needs him? Uh, books? Oh, dude, you're all out of Sizzle, Sizzle and Zap books, so I guess you're not pulling on Bianca cause, or, or Deborah. Huh. You don't have any A books for him. Let's see. So I guess yeah, that that's just his. You know, he's not planning on pulling for them. So he has plenty of uh, non-elemental books. He's got plenty of wish books. Um, yeah. What can we wrote? I, I guess his his face, his personality, his I smell. I I don't know. I'm looking to see what I can hit him with, but it's like there's only. I didn't expect to see anything, honestly. I mean, you know, he's obviously a very knowledgeable, dedicated player. You know, looking at his inventory, he's got one orb. You know, I got two orbs. Big deal. He'll get more. Uh, he's got 73 fucking irises. Holy shit. That's great. Yeah. Well. Uh, well, yeah, let's see. He's got 73 irises, but. You don't have any. You don't have any uh, rank six stuff though. Yeah. See, that's the thing. I'm looking back at how many a six units he has so he technically needs 20 40 60 80 100 120 140 160 180 185 irises just to get his a's done so he needs another like 110 so so i think if you if you look at how much you and i have spent versus how much he has saved up he, we probably still have acquired more irises oh yeah um, yeah but i've used my gold medini medals on irises I might use some too. I'm getting to that point. I have 30 irises right now, and I need like another 50 or 60 to max out all the A's. Yeah. I mean, he's yep. got a good stockpile of, of materials. I mean, what he's got here, I don't think this is going to get him through the new units coming out, or it's going to be very close for the the tier one stuff. It's, he's going to go through a lot of these, like the green, yep. blue, and red stones. He's going to. Yeah, you're stuff. probably going to be farming hard story for a while, bro. I mean, it, it's, gonna it's gonna a be big deal. It's easy. Yeah, it's really easy to do that. Uh, so he's got a mid heal scroll still that he hasn't touched. That's good. Oh wow, mid heal. He's got three hellfire slashes. Damn, that's good. Uh, smoldering slashes there. Material alien. He hasn't used any scrolls. He hasn't even used the blood yeah. scrolls. He's got both his blunts still. I mean, then again, he doesn't have a rochi, so I mean, he has he two blunts. He hasn't fucked with that yet. Okay. Well, this this guy, he's a fucking serious player. I mean, this guy knows what he's this doing. This guy's in a so. bomb shelter. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, he's got nine gold medals, so... Do you have nine gold medals right now? Nine gold Did you top 50 every week so far? No. I oh, I've, really? No. I've gotten silver a couple of times. I fucked up really bad. Like, I've had some real, real big losses. Like so... Yeah, yeah. It, unless I get... Just somehow get fucked really hard in Sizz Week. Uh, I am looking forward to that that icon. Uh, so Trop and I will be, and probably a lot of other people will be tying for first gold arena icon. Um, while I haven't hit first yet, I've been pretty much like either top ten or very close every week. So whatever, it's all good. 
Um, got a lot of silver Medini medals. That's kind of cool. You have a lot of reserve in case you need to uh, get some XP scrolls. Uh, that's pretty, I think, one of the best uses for them. You got a lot of XP scrolls in general. You got 149 gold ones, so that's cool. So wait, how you did you end up with the extra decoration? Did you not buy something out of the shop before it closed? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's... Uh, huh. Hey, hey that we work? found... Uh, we found something we can roast them on. Why did you do that, dipshit? You suck. <laughs> you suck. I hate you. Yeah, I hate you. I hate you personally. You only bought the shards? I even did a video drop. I mean, with what you had, your arsenal, I think you could have gotten the orb with, with uh, the units you had available. Prop, you are scum. You're okay, like you a good player who puts a lot of time into arena. You tell me you couldn't have gotten the orb? Like, I don't, I don't believe you. I don't believe you at all. Like, you have 99 Medini medals, but you couldn't get the orb out of Pizarro's Peak. Yeah, that's what, one run of Pizarro's Peak, right? Because uh, you get, like, 300, right? Yeah. Of, of very hard 4-5 or 5-5, five, five, whatever it is. I, I would always... The orbs are, like, some of the most valuable things in this game. You never know when you're going to You didn't get the of... orb? He didn't. You didn't get the orb. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Okay, so your account looks... Fucking perfect for your goals, except for that. Suck it. You got roasted. Yeah. I also had him give me his feats as well. I was curious to see how they would stack up against mine, so I'm going to look at that. I'm curious. I'm very curious about how many stages I've actually cleared as a manual player. I mean, there's people that are, like, not even in your league, Trop. Like, not even close to your league who got that orb easily. Now you're like a master tactician. That's like Sun Tzu just like going home and saying, fuck it. Yeah. So let's see for stages cleared. Uh, he's, yeah, he uh, says my recruit challenges very low. I, yeah, okay, fine, whatever. I mean, you should just get the easy orbs, though, you know, because they're hard to come by, even if you don't think you're going to get a lot of units. So um, you know, it might it might happen that you know you don't get near. You pull Emperor Slime, and you're like, "Oh fuck, I need a healer." What are you gonna do? You know, so um, it's really helpful to have Emperor Slime orbed up. Um, really, any healer that you get. So, I mean, the orb was ten runs of Sorrow's Peak. Man. Anyway. Okay, so we found something to roast him on. That's cool. He's definitely uh, a good farmer. I'll give him that. Like in terms of farming, he's got me beat by like three k. Like I've only farmed eighty five hundred items almost. He's he's almost to eleven hundred. That's that's pretty good there. That's pretty good farming. Pretty good farming. That is very good farming. Even on the alchemy, he's got me beat there. So he's farmed a lot of equipment, a lot of tones. I mean, got a lot of free time. You know that personality of his. Probably got not much of a social life. So. We've got to get the farming in. He is right, though. He has not gotten sweet. So Sorry, that was part of the roast. Oh, so just relax. <laughs> <laughs> he, he wasn't kidding when he said he doesn't have a lot of recruits because I don't even have that feat anymore to recruit in, in real life. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's focused on his goals. He's It's kind of like Game Vision in a way. Game Vision just kind of like spent a lot of money and didn't work on a bunch of things, but he was just looking for a bunch of max units to just smash things yeah. with. Yeah, totally. If It's like, what is what is your stated goal? Do you pursue that? And, you know, maybe you don't have a stated goal, but then you just bitch about the things you can't accomplish. You know, so I don't have any sympathy for that, that latter person. No. Right? So. I definitely kicked anyway. my ass in arena with what he's using. That's kind of sad on me. I think you just you just need to take your time. Like you ah, to, I don't like taking my time. You just need to get get in a peaceful state of mind. You know what's a peaceful uh, course, state of mind? Of course, yeah. Of course, uh, you know. You could you could have the perfect moves and still just get fucked over by luck. So you get like crit all of a sudden. It's like I get that Zen moment and then I, I know lose I, my shit. Yeah, exactly. I know I've bitched about that all week. So, um, anyway, so we got trap roasted. A couple of things uh, we've got. Let's see. Shift of content from slow to fast. I don't know. That's kind of a boring subject to end on, but I mean, yeah, it's 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 we had a break. 
you know, I will admit, I guess it's kind of cool that we got a chance to save up resources. Um, I was super bored through this event. What do you think? I mean, you're. I mean, I was like sitting there farming awakenings in hard mode story. I mean, I was like, hey guys, I've almost got hoodlum to max awaken. That was my yeah. big thing until they just dropped all these events on us. I was like, well, back to rank ups now because I need irises. Hoodlum could yeah. wait, you know. I'm not doing this now. I was excited. I was yeah. like, yes, please give me something to do. And then it's like, well, everything else is coming. And it's like, yes, let's do this. Let's, let's finally get this done. I will say this, though. I am curious to see if they actually do something about these arena cheaters with the maintenance. If they actually oh, make a yeah, move that's, here. That's, that's finally. That's you know, that's that's more of what I'm hoping to see is, you know, we, we log in and, you know, this week coming up, they're gone or they can't cheat anymore, in which case they quit anyway because, you know, people who cheat and they lose their little tools usually can't, they never go and play again anyway because it's like, how do I play legit at that point? So I'm hoping, I'm hoping with this update that they're doing something because it's, I mean, we're... Don't, don't hold your breath. I know, I shouldn't, but it's like, well, I don't know how much time it's supposed to take to, to do this, but I think it's been long enough. I mean, we're... I so I know Malcolm list. watches these. Um, what? So I'm looking at the camera. Malcolm, I'm looking right at you, buddy. How do we get banned in this game? You know? <laughs> I haven't. I've done a lot of a lot of shit. So I. I mean, I don't want to. I don't want to throw my vestment down the drain here by getting banned. But, um, but what do we got to do? You know? Do you have to? I don't know. I mean, like, if you can't if you can't do it by getting a bunch of chargebacks, and if you can't get it by um, using obvious hacking tools, why should I just not start doing that? You know, good question. I'm gonna just go charge back three thousand dollars. Didn't get banned for it. You know, and <laughs> people can start just you know cheating arena because well you're yeah. not gonna get banned for it. It's kind of like the auto quicker thing. It's like originally. I was really like, you guys shouldn't do this. This is, you know, you, you can get your account like taken down and shit. Meanwhile, it's like you've got people who are getting rewards every week from cheating arena and nothing's happening to them. That kind of makes me look foolish when I'm like wagging my finger at people like, well, you shouldn't have, shouldn't have auto clicked. It's like, no, they didn't give a fuck about any of this. They, oh, yeah. they don't care. No. That's the least of their words. Well, we, we kind of always knew that auto click was never. I mean, it's technically bannable, but no one's going to give a shit, really. Um, but, I mean, you know, we were every time that conversation came uh, came up, it was like, okay, auto-click, no, they're not going to give a shit. But um, our experience with other, um, like, MMOs and Scotcha games is hacks obviously do get banned. Uh, that happened, and I like to shit on War of the Visions all the time, but it happened. They get rid of cheaters regularly. It takes several sweeps, and more people keep coming back and trying it, and they just keep knocking them out. Um, you know, and that's the same publisher, Square Enix. So, this is really an aiming thing, you know. What are you guys doing again? New players, good game, good game. Don't worry too much about <laughs> the arena stuff. It's more again of, you know, you guys are gonna get plenty of rewards at your stage, but this is like again some high level shit. We just would like to see some sort of resolution, please, before I have to like fucking physically make a video. Being like, hey, Ma, look, 5x damage, no hands. I will do this before the half anniversary if nothing is done. I will throw this up here now. Is that is that the big bomb you have planned? Uh, yes, that, that'll be my half anniversary if I, I have to. I will get somebody to fucking do this for me and just host the fucking video because I don't know how to cheat. I'm an idiot. Leave me alone. <laughs> I, can't, yeah. I, I can barely get this fucking stream working, so don't yeah. look at me to be like, I don't know what an APK is and how to do this. I'm just, no, we're not. No. But I'll find somebody who will. You got this pack. Boomer. Yeah, I know. So, already, um, I'm going to wrap up here, but we can kind of we can kind of close it out. So, we did TROP today. Um, next week, Roasty is going to be double question mark. I am very excited about that. Another really good, knowledgeable player that I don't think is going to get roasted too bad based on um, his account. I mean, unless he didn't uh, get the but... word about Episodes Peak. <laughs> I would be shocked if he didn't, um, you know, he's so active on Discord and he's a he's a cure slime. He's very knowledgeable. One of the most knowledgeable um, the players in the whole game. So, I mean, what are we going to roast him on? But uh, 
I mean, I guess it's nice. I, I think it's really nice to have him just show up in some way. Um, cause I think he does a couple of like videos and streams, but he does guide videos anyway. and he does some other stuff yeah. too. And he does the thumbnails for myself. But I mean, one. he's, he's been like, he's the OG crew, you know, he's been just super consistent and, um, cool guy. Um, you know, mature beyond his years. Apparently, he's only like twenty years old or something like that. So usually, I fucking hate people that are less than twenty-five. <laughs> but, uh, double double question marks got my seal of approval, personality-wise. So I'm um, happy to have him. And then after that, we have blah, 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 where did I go? Marcos after that. Then Friedrich Mayer, someone we haven't really heard much from. And then after that, Lolliet, uh is going to be roasted. So we are. Um, we're a month out on roasties. All good. Let us know if you want to be roasted. Uh, like like basically what you saw today, if your account is pristine for the most part, uh, we're going to go after your looks and your personality and your... I still found shit. I, I'm a jackass. Relationship status and stuff like that. And, oh, Jesus so. Christ. It's like, <laughs> yeah, you maxed out your green dragon, but your girlfriend hates you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Let's not let's not get into that. Oh too Jesus bad, Christ! <laughs> okay, I'm Audi. Thanks, guys. Uh, we'll see you next week on episode six of Feeding the Trolls. Bye bye. Take care, everyone.